Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we have uh, another topic. Um, as we see here in the comment, we have Mr. Learning Quranic Arabic and he is an Arabic uh, teacher uh, who make videos about uh, Islam and Arabic supposedly and lately like he started doing uh, uh, supposedly videos to uh, or like a while ago I saw some of his videos uh, speaking about uh, miracles in the Quran, and amazing things in the Quran. And then today when I showed him as a reply to what he said, supposedly he was refuting us and he refuted, refuted me. And obviously he had no answer to say. Uh, we mentioned to him in the previous video, or the video we are looking at the text underneath of it uh, now, about the Quran error of the sister of Aaron. And now because he had no answer for this, after we showed the clear proof that not only Muhammad, he miss. Uh, understood and he do not understand what who is Mary and who is her father uh, and uh, you know he was uh, what, the Muslim trying to refute that Mary is a sister of Aaron uh, you know it uh, was a tradition where somebody says oh you are a sister a sister of etc but the fact is not true you see uh, uh, you can say I am the brother of etc for both of us we are Christians but if you go in the old traditions including the Quran you will see even the Quran have a verse saying, you call people by the name of their father. By the name of their father. This is what you, how you call them. Same time, Mary is not the sister of Aaron. For a very simple reason. I'm not talking about the, now the, the, uh, the blood thing. You, you see, uh, never happened that you call somebody the sister of etc when he is dead and he is a lot older and he is a grand the grand the grand the grand the grand the grand you know you can call how many grandfather between them that is an insult so if you want to say it in a metaphorical way you say the daughter of etc the same as the Jews they used to say to Jesus the son, you know like when Jesus he said what do you say of the Messiah he, they said he is a son of David but all of us we know he is not the son of David no I mean David is not his father right so metaphorically is accepted, but, it, but they will not say the brother of David. They said he is the son of David. Because that would be an insult to David. And it's stupid to say, for this is the grand, the grand grandfather. Imagine, you know, I say to Mr. Learning Quran, uh, he, he have a grandfather, his name, let us say, Khalid. And I say, oh, Learning Quran, the, the brother of Khalid. But he's not his brother, it's an insult. That's a stupid statement. So because he has no answer, look what he said. This is a straw man argument, uh, argument because it assumes, number one, that the Bible is correct. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. How come you Muslims, you found the name of Muhammad from a Bible is not correct? And you told us that Muhammadim is in the Bible. When the fact the word Muhammadim is not a name. <laughs> How come you Muslims, you you know you see this this is how funny the Muslims you assume that the Bible is correct is, is correct okay let's say the Bible is wrong let's say but even the names are wrong I mean the, the the Jews what is the purpose of the Jews to change the names of the father of uh, uh, Moses can you tell me according to your religion who is the father of Moses so we can lie huh who is who is Isa? Who is Isa? You know, there is many names you Quran copy from the Bible, and it's very stupid of, of your prophet to do so. I hope you are not insulting by saying stupid, but I'm saying what I believe. As an example, uh, in the Quran, you will find that the word gospel appear as the word Injil. Injil, how the word Injil appear in your Quran? Do you see it? Injil is a Greek word. Jesus, he brought Injil. Are you sure? What is that? <laughs> but because your prophet, he came long after Jesus, and at that time, this word was very popular. You know, like this is why you say Anglican Church, you know, etc. Uh, uh, 
Muhammad, he copied the word and he put his Quran. So, but, the, but the one who's talking here supposedly is Allah. How Allah he copied the name does not exist in his book because he did not send the Injil. The Injil actually, according to you Muslims, is the corrupt Bible. Because this is the Greek version. Remember the Quran says that Allah he never sent Quran, uh, uh, sorry, a, a book or a message or a, uh, by a prophet, unless he speak the tongue of his own people. All right. Bilisani qawmi. So now, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ Why? لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ etc. So, we never send the messenger except in the language or the tongue of his own people. Okay. What does that mean exactly? I never send anyone unless he speak the language, which means it's going to be in the language of his own people. And you Muslims, you claim that Jesus, he came and he was teaching the Jews. You Muslims claim that Jesus was only a, a prophet to the Jews only, not international. Only Muhammad is international. All right? Which I can debunk very easy. You know? Because the Quran says that we send you for Ummul Qura, the, 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 the Medina, the, sorry, the, the Mecca, and the villages around it. That's it. Same time, the, the verse in the front of you saying it clearly that we never send any messenger unless he speak and teach in the language of his own people. So in order for Muhammad to be a messenger for the Pakistani, he have to speak the tongue of the people of Pakistan or India or Japan or etc. So he never sent, and this is a verse was delivered at the time of whom? At the time of Muhammad, which means already Muhammad is included and Jesus is included. So how you copy the name of Injil and you put it there? It's a very stupid statement from your God. But because there is no God in Islam, it's just Muhammad copying and he says, okay, Allah is the one who sent the Injil. So, Injil is a wrong word, wrong word, if you are speaking about Jesus, Jesus, words in his language, for Injil is a Greek word, which means when you say that Allah he sent the Injil, you are telling us that Allah he sent the book to Jesus in Greek language. And for sure that will be against Islam and will be stupid of you Muslims to believe in so. As you see, Allah never sent, because that will make Jesus a prophet for the Greek. Right? If the book, if the Injil is, an, is a name of a book written in Greek language, that will make Jesus was a messenger for the people of a Greek, and he is from Greece. And he speak the tongue of those people, and he was one of them. He is not for the Jews. So, tons of mistakes and errors and stupidity we find in this Quran. But because the Muslims, they are, you know, when they when they see how stupid their book, they try to defend. Because the second you point how stupid it is, they feel that they are the one that's stupid. You see, Muhammad is dead now. I mean, he's 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 rotten. He, you know, he told his people that our uh, the prophet. Uh, uh, no grave or no land can decay their body or, or, or consume your body. But then when, when Muhammad he died, uh, the Muslims did not bury him for three days because they believe him. They believe that his, his body will be reserved. And after three days, he stink. This is why the Sahaba, they said, Itfunu sahibakum, you know, faqad anta. You know, he's, he stink. Bury your friend, he anta, you know, he's, he's he, disgusting. And his belly became full and fart start coming and his nails became green and blue. And even they did not wash him because they cannot even wash him. You know, his skin his skin is coming out. Remember, this is Mecca. Three days, not in the refrigerator for a dead man. You can imagine what will happen. So, uh, uh, when, when you speak about uh, language and trying to give an excuse, you, all your reasons is very funny and very silly. And here he said something uh, more funny. Which incidentally cannot be proven. Okay, can you prove it? Can you prove it to be not uh, uh, as an example? Can you prove that the Jews they have a wrong name of the father of Moses? I mean, how it cannot be proven? That the, the Jews they have tens of uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of manuscripts, not tens of thousands. 
a lot more than what the Christians have as manuscripts for the Bible, which means, I mean, the, the Injil as you call it. Huh? So what do you mean it cannot be proven? All the manuscripts lead to the correct name. It could give us the manuscript that lead to the different name. And why, for God's sake, Jews, they will change the name of the father of uh, Musa, what that will accomplish for them. They knew that there's a guy, his name is Muhammad, he will come and he will make Quran and he will be stupid. What, what, why, you know, why they want to change the name? Even the name, they would change it. I mean, what, what is the benefit of this? Then he says, that the same could not be have been used for different people living in different time. What different people, different time, my friend? It says Amram is the father of a prophet, Moses, and Aaron, and their sister is Miriam. What do you want more? It says a prophet, Moses, and Aaron, and their prophet. Sorry, I will call it as it is. The, uh, the uh, uh, prophets. Aaron and Moses and their sister Mary. So what are you talking about? How how many a prophet the Jews they have? Their name is Moses and Aaron and they have a sister, her name is Mary and their father is Amram. Five? Seven? <laughs> I can't take this excuse to say, oh, maybe there's other Musa, right? It's a prophet. They have only one prophet. His name is Musa. So don't be, please don't be, don't be silly. You see, your prophet, he said one stupid statement, which is very funny. He said when Aaron, he died, 40,000 people, they went in his funeral, and all of them, their names is Aaron. I like that. <laughs> but one of them is a prophet. So the Jews, they believe in one prophet. His name is Musa's. And he have a brother, his name is Aaron, you know, and you Muslims accept that, you know. And now the problem is Muhammad, he copied the name of Mary, and he took the name of the father of Aaron, which is Umran, and he make him the father of Mary. And because you have no answer, you are in trouble. Now, look at this. To discover the Quran, you need to come up with a surah like it. This is one of the funny things Muslims they say. Let me, let me tell you something. I have a book, it's called The Deception of Allah. I challenged the 1.5 billion Muslims to make a book like it. Hmm? Can you? Okay. I challenged all the Muslims to make a Mickey Mouse. Like Mickey Mouse. I mean, if I make to you right now a Quran, are you going to approve it? Are you going to say whatever I do? You will say, no, I don't approve it. However, I will leave for you a link underneath of this video is about one of your Muslim scholars, he made a Quran about, it's called the chapter of the apple. <laughs> Actually, they brought a French guy who was maybe newly converted to Islam, and they want to show them how the Quran touched the heart of people. So this guy, he make uh, two Quran. One is fake, and one is real. So the fake one, it says, uh, we will come and visit you, and we will miss you, and we will look for you, and we are going to, etc. I mean, stupid, it's just uh, words. And then he recited, uh, uh, and before the first one, it was the Quran, the real Quran, recite the Quran, and then he recited the second one, which is about, we will miss you, and then I think he spoke about the apple. I will leave, I will leave the link underneath of this video. It's in a French, if anyone can add subtitle and translate it, that, that would be wonderful. Then he asked the guy, which one you like more? The Muslim convert guy, he said the second one. <laughs> which means the fake Quran. <laughs> he do not know. Both they sound the same. So what do you mean make like it? I mean, this is the most silly, stupid statement. Do you want me to make it a, a verse saying that inna atainaka al kawthar This is stupid, man. You know, in, in the in the Arabic, in the Arab people time, they used to make a point of 1,000 line, non-stop. The Quran is a stupid book. Keep repeating itself. There's nothing there. And the most important is, you keep saying to us, can you make something like this? Isn't it Muhammad who received satanic verses? Isn't it the Quran says that if the jinn <coughs> and the human being, they cannot make a make make a, a book like this 
So how the shaitan he delivers satanic verses? Huh? If the human uh, and the genie they meet together, they cannot really provide Quran like this, right? Okay. So how Muhammad received the satanic verses? You know, each time a Muslim he come with a statement. You know, it make me laugh and uh, show me uh, how ignorant they are and have how they have no uh, no answer. Read with me here. قل لي أن اجتمعت الإنس والجن على أن يأتوا بمثل هذا القرآن لا يأتون بمثل. Let us read the translation. <laughs> read Abdul. All right. Say if the whole the mankind and jinn were gathered together to produce the likeness of this Quran, they could not produce like it. So, do you know why Muhammad even said this verse? Because they challenged him to make a miracle. Huh? They are the one who challenged him, but Muhammad, because he had nothing, he said, okay, make Quran like this. They are already, they are saying to you, we are not believing it, it's a silly book. So imagine somebody, he says to you, it's a, a uh, uh, you, you have a stupid book and then you say to him, okay, make a book like it. What kind of a challenge this challenge is? The Arab, they keep saying to him, why you cannot provide us a miracle all over the Quran? So why Muhammad he did not say right away in the spot, okay, this is a miracle, the Quran? Huh? Why? He can say that, that's it. But he didn't say that. Actually, he said, let me show you, that Allah, he refrained from sending miracles. A clear announcement from the God of Islam that he don't, and he will never send a miracle to Muhammad. وَمَا مَنَعْنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَن كَدَّبَ بِهَا الْأَوَّلِ Let us see. Chapter 17, verse number 89. So your Quran confirmed that Muhammad have no miracles, and Allah, he refrained, from sending miracles. And we refrain from sending signs only because the men of former generation treated them as false. All right, so what is the miracle of the Quran then? If the Quran is a miracle, Allah will not say this. He will say, we give you a miracle already, don't you see? The statement here, this is, if the Quran is a miracle, this is statement itself is a miracle. That those only like five words together though are miracle, unbelievable. The, you know, I mean, this is stupid and silly. However, we have a miracle actually, uh, maybe you can listen to it. This is uh, a Quran made by us Arab Christians. You can download it, I will leave the link underneath, and you will see, like you will not notice that this is not Quran unless you speak Arabic. And even if you speak Arabic, you are going to be, mm, you know, believing it to be Quran until he reached to speak about TV station. Then you will notice that this is going to be a Quran for there is no TV station at that time. So don't tell me, and I, I, I advise everybody to download this video. If somebody speaks Arabic, please make a subtitle for it, uh, a translation in any language uh, you speak. All right? So your, your challenge is very silly. It's not even like a, a challenge of intelligence. Now, I saw a video of yours, and you are speaking about a miracle, language miracle, or linguistic uh, miracle in the Quran about Allah he created from everything two bears and as long as you mention this this is a chapter 51 verse number 49 I will take advantage of you speaking about it and I challenge you can you bring stupid statement like this you are the one who said this is a miracle but this is the most stupid thing ever because it says let me see, let me, let's see the translation hold on so you see Muslim translation I'm not, I'm not using and I can change any translation you want this is your translation all right You can watch his video, by the way. I will leave the link for his video so you can learn. And if from of everything, we have a created pairs. What does that mean? Male and female. All right. Thank you very much, Allah, for the amazing discovery that everything is created in pairs. All right. Then who created this? And you see, I'm not going to mention a name of an animal coming from different book from the Quran. All right, 
chapter 16 verse number 7 and 8 it says that Allah is the one who created the following animals all right and he has created horses the mules what Allah created the mules he just said to us that he created from everything pairs so what is the pair of the mule have you ever heard of a male mule and female mule and look at this here additional to this stupid mistake uh, what is the camel well what is the camel what happened with the camel Allah he dropped the camel because he's talking about trans transportation <laughs> I mean, and look, he mentioned he created horses, which make it more stupid and more funny, and the mules and donkeys. But all of us, we knew, you do not, God did not create a mule. God created horses. They had sex with donkeys. They got a stupid mule. And that the kind you find all over around the Kaaba, going in cycle and circle, thinking by kissing a stone, they will go naked uh, from their sin. That is the real mule, is a God who he think he created everything in pairs, yet he, he is saying clearly, I created the mule. So where is the contradiction here of everything is made in pair? As you said in your video yourself, everything is made in pair. There's, there's millions of uh, creatures, they have no gender. What are you talking about? That is a stupid statement. So can you make a stupid statement like this, Mr. Learning Arabic? I would like one day, if you have the courage to debate me live, we can do it in Skype and we broadcast live in YouTube. And people, they can learn from your amazing knowledge. Especially, you will make it easier for me because you speak Arabic. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to download the video. And don't forget to download this video, as I told you about the Quran in Arabic. This is a Christian made Quran uh, showing the Muslims how stupid the Quran is and saying that Jesus is Lord and Muhammad is a prophet from the devil. As simple as that. So even if you download the video, you can put a summary underneath of it. And you know, I played this video by the way for hundreds of Muslims in the chat rooms, and all of them they said this is an amazing Quran. Nobody noticed that this is a fake Quran made by the Christians. And this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. Muhammad claimed that he received satanic verses and then he went home. And after a while, Jibreel came to the house and looked at the door. The pizza guy, he said, open the door. He said to him, Muhammad, what you did? This is not Quran. This is from the devil. So Allah, he made a chapter saying, Allah will cancel and will delete the satanic verses. So how this happened? And don't forget to mention that Umar al Khattab, he said that my God agreed with me in three things. And Allah, he sent the verses as I said, as I said, that's scary. So Allah himself is copying from Omar Quran. Because he said, as I said, as I said, the exact words. So who is the one making Quran? Muhammad, he liked what Omar said. Muhammad, the same as, you know, when, when the guy, the scribe, he said, Tabarakallahu Ahsan al-Khaliqeen, Muhammad, he liked it. The, the scribe of Muhammad is very well-known story, reported in Muslim uh, 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 books. The funny, all of this uh, is re reported in Muslim books. Uh, let us see here. The guy, he said it. Muhammad, he said, okay, write it down in the Quran. The guy, he said to himself, well, if Muhammad is a prophet, I am a prophet too, because this was inspired to me. And here, by Muhammad taking this statement from this Arab man, chapter 23, verse number 14, it, it appeared twice in the Quran, actually, you know, chapter 37, verse number 125, he make a very bad mistake, because now he said that there is more than one creator, and one of them is Allah. And supposedly the God of Muhammad is the best of the creators, which is very stupid and very naive. Because you cannot say he is the best uh, to create unless there is other creators, right? How you can, how you can say that? How, how many creators you have, you know? So don't tell me 
don't tell me that can you make a book like this do you want to make a book saying that the sperm is coming from the foot of the woman the same as your prophet saying in the Quran that the woman she have a sperm coming from her ribs since when since when you know women they have a sperm coming from their ribs that's stupid statement you see here the translation is false translation it says the best to create change the translator you see and mr learn arabic he knew arabic very well it says it clearly the best of the creators this is why i always i say don't trust muslim translation we change the translation here we go you see the best of the creators this is the correct translation how stupid this statement is to say he is the best of the creators if he is the only one who created comparing yourself to who how god compare himself to someone who does not exist same time, uh, you are the best. Who gave you this certificate? If you are the only one, I mean, this is stupid. Imagine I am the only student in my classroom, and then I say to you, I am the best in my classroom. Number one, that's mean I'm a liar because I'm deceiving you, making you believe that I am the best of others when there's no others. Number two, the problem here, he is not the best student, he is the best of the creators. Which means he just acknowledged that there is a creator and he is the best. Number three, if a Muslim will say, oh, don't people create bicycle? That's not a creation. Don't fool yourself. The Quran gave a definition for what creation is. The Quran says that if you, like if you want to worship somebody, at least let him create a, a fly. So it's about giving life. And that's what Jesus did, even in the Quran, when he created from the mother bird. So... If you cannot create a fly, sorry, my internet is very uh, weak, you know. Uh, All right. So if you cannot create a fly, then you, you are not uh, you are not qualified to be, uh, you know, uh, God. But if you can, you are yeah for sure you are you can be God because you can create a fly, you know. And this is what the verses in front of us are saying. You know, can those do you worship you create a fly? Well, can Allah create a fly anyway? There's any proof of Allah He created anything? I can claim that I am Allah and I am the one who created everything. What is the proof? What is my proof? If just a claiming, there is no miracles. There is nothing to witness. There is nothing to see. It is just talk. And my friend, talk is a cheap. You know. And that's what all Islam is about. Talk is cheap, very cheap. So you have a prophet who have no prophecy. Actually, he have, which is very stupid. We can make love at it in different book, different, uh, you know. But anyway, I think that this is for now is enough. So uh, you see here, I mean, are you going to worship someone who don't create even a fly? <laughs> So Jesus, he created a bird. That means Jesus is qualified to be God. That's how stupid this statement is. And how this is how Muhammad he got himself busted. So my friend, feel free to download the videos. And I want to say thank you to Mr. Learning Arabic for exposing your cult. You were very helpful. Christ was Lord. And he not only created a fly, he created you Muslims. He is the creator according even to you go on. This is what Jesus is about. And you cannot run away from the truth. And your prophet is after market prophet. He keeps saying stupid statement. And whatever he say, we got him busted. Thank you. And God bless you all.